goes. Pop! All right, guys. Well, it is the Sunday before race day, one of the best times of the year. Guys, uh, pretty much got the prep done. Uh, Two-step installed. We got the adjustable launch control, uh, which is so far so good. Looks like I'm getting about eight pounds, even at just 2,200. So happy with that for now. We can't really go higher until we uh, upgrade the clutch. So uh, this year we are running some pro armors. I'll back some 16 paddles or 32 inches, and then we've got the uh, sand strippers out front, which I'm hopeful. I think we get some good turning with these, and then still pick up a little bit of traction with the four-wheel drive. So. We are all shined up, tuned up, ready to go, guys. Just a matter of sticking her in the uh, enclosed trailer there, throwing the generators in, and we're on our way. So, uh, you guys, I'm going to show you uh, some of the processes that I went through to change the uh, mainspring out on the primary for the P-Drive. Uh, requires uh, some special tools uh, to do it safely and correctly so you don't damage anything. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to get into uh, that right now. And uh, after that, uh, next time I'll see you is going to be race weekend. So, thanks, guys. Please hit that subscribe and like button if you would. And uh, we'll see you on the trails. All right, guys. Well, we're just a couple days away from uh, the races. And uh, just doing a couple upgrades to the P drive. We added uh, the two step, adjustable two step for the X3 here with the MG1 ECU. Uh, so we're gonna test that baby out, but to do that we've got to change the primary spring or the main spring in the primary uh, There's more tools to that than I expected. I'm sure there's a way you could probably uh, Create your own and stuff, but I just went ahead and uh, got the right stuff from Evo uh, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, Break the taper on the governor camp so uh, that actual top of the unit here even though you remove the screws uh, that governor plate unlike the ski doos um, is press fit uh, to the actual center shaft so you remove the stock bolts then you put this hat on put in longer m8s and then with the actual clutch puller tool still inside you thread down another one against that and that'll pop that hat off. So uh, we're gonna see how that goes. Here it goes. Pop. All right. Okay, now we can remove this hat and then you can see this is where I was talking about how you use the actual clutch puller for the uh, counter force on the center shaft. So if everything went well, I'm assuming that the governor cap, yes, it came off guys. So yeah, that's a press fit on a taper. It's not uh, been really discussed out there uh, on YouTube, so uh, be careful. Make sure you buy this stuff, guys. The other big one is the Sir Clip here. Uh, Evo also has a very nice tool for this situation. So we're gonna get to that next. So we go ahead and thread the first uh, tool down in. And this has a much more aggressive uh, thread here because we have a, uh, a tool here to compress this to remove the circlip. So first thing you do is thread that on and you're gonna go ahead, add the uh, little cup here. I, think, I don't know why there's two of these, but I'm guessing there's a reason. So we're gonna go ahead and crank this down. Every, ooh, everything looks like it's working stupendously. And as you can see, guys, Right in there is that circlip we got to move. So that tool gives us tons of room to make that happen. So 
Let me see if I can get in here. They say the best way is to find one of the flats. Okay, there we go. And then you guys are gonna need some bullnose pliers, which I'm probably gonna have to customize these slightly. And get you guys back just a little bit more. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'll give a couple. I'll sneak in here. There we go. And now she comes. Then you can just let it sit in there like that. And then if all goes well, as I release this, our spring cup's gonna come out of here. Oh, guys. Like I said, I'm sure you could beat the tarnations out of this and figure it out, but these tools really make it easy. So don't lose your circlip. Guys, it's sitting right here. Got our spring cup, spring cap. So now, since we are going to be running, uh, we're gonna keep it low. I don't wanna to put too much stress on this. We go racing twice a year. So I'm going to use uh, Evo's 2300 two-step uh, launch. Even though I have the cho uh, choice to do it adjustable, um, I'm going to keep it there because um, if you want to go higher than that, if I'm not mistaken, you have to upgrade your P-Drive. Uh, the best option that Evo has is this Red Spring. It's a 2300 stall, so you could run a 2200 RPM uh, two-step. I believe it's seven-ish pounds, but we'll go over that uh, when we start to test this thing out. So that keeps your trailability uh, very good and uh, still allows you to have some fun, guys. So uh, this is going swimmingly so far. Let's get this red spring in. All right, so I'm guessing it's just as simple as dropping the old devil in. We're going to get our spring cap and cup installed then this is where we're going to basically just do a reverse here guys we're going to drop this compressing tool back on here it might help nope definitely not going to do that it's got to be all done with the tool so i'll go ahead and just center down in guys nice and easy make sure you're not binding up anywhere and it's in there in the center We'll keep sending her down. Down she goes. Until we expose that area for the circlip. We're almost there. Whoo, a lot of tension, guys. You can see why to do this safe, just buy the dang tools. It's not that expensive. This stinking sport. You know what I did? I screwed up. I didn't put the circlip in there before I did this. Darn it. Well, guys, you learn from my mistakes. That's why I try to make these videos. <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. We'll go ahead and take that baby back off. All we gotta do is just make sure it's here in the center. Put our tool back in. send her back home okay I think we are there best bet's probably to get your your circlip in so they give you a little port in the back here as well guys which is nice. So you can hold the back of the circlip and then work the front side down into its into its location. So let's see how well that works for us. Bam, guys, that's it. 
oh, 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 you're in big trouble, Greg Monhollen. I'm coming for you, brother. So now we're gonna go ahead and let that spring cap seat. Let's make sure everything's good. Give it a little, give it a little lend tap, do a little something like this. I know in his honor, he'd do something like that. <laughs> and then, uh, guys, man, it's all downhill from here. Go ahead and take this off, remove our bushings. Remove this awesome. Look, they even engrave them. And then we're back to going to hit. Ooh. That got on there nice and tight. All right, that baby's off. So, what we got left now, guys, is basically just our governor cap and if i didn't talk about this beforehand they recommend you draw on a line because i believe uh the clutch is balanced uh with, with this all as an assembly so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this taper off real quick here with the nice cleanest rag i've got uh, everything looks good there guys you can see this is a pretty hefty part uh, we'll take our marks Line them up like that, and then uh, now it's all about assembly, guys, and I've got another little cool trick to show you. Let me take you to the bench. All right, guys, so forgive me. Uh, we're working on a, a little wood bench here. It's springtime, a lot of stuff going on here. So normally it's very hard to hold this clutch in one spot while you're trying to work on it. And I'm not joking, these T40 Torx screws that are in here, the way they are locked in almost reminds me of like rock set as opposed to uh, uh, Loctite. Uh, you heat them up, they'll move a little bit, and they seem to get even tighter. So I had to use a combination of heat and WD-40. kept saturating them. I'd get a little bit more. I'd wait, saturate, wait, and I'd kind of work my way around it. It probably took me a half hour, guys, but I got them out because what you do not want to do is break one of these off. That's going to put you in a real bad spot. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and reinstall these. That's going to press this hat back onto the shaft. We can throw this baby on the machine and God, we're getting close. It can be done, guys. Just go out and buy yourself a solid uh, T40 and do not use an impact. Get yourself a nice long breaker bar. And uh, I'll show you my secret here for holding it. Mentioned uh, my wooden bench. All I did was stick a couple lag screws down, set the clutch to the cooling fans, did no damage. It locked in right there, and I was able to do all my work. So that one turned out pretty darn good back and get these originals that I used to start it with. These guys.
Now we will retorque these afterwards because just tightening these bolts does not press that taper on there and that doesn't, I'm still, I mean we're close but see I'm still free spinning. So I think we're gonna put it on the machine and when we torque that on to the actual uh, machine itself, uh, that'll lock everything together and then I will uh, get the torque wrench on these babies and we'll uh, finish it off.